Hello everyone, my name is Fee and I have a message for all of you today. Uh, soon in June on the 9th, 10th and 11th there will be the Poetry International Festival um, where dear friends of mine from Unwanted Works but so many others will be performing. I would love it for all of you to join um, so please check it out and hope to see you there. So my name is Fee, uh, my pronouns are they them. I am born and raised in Rotterdam and I'm an artist, a performance artist and a poetry writer. And as of recently, I'm also a teacher at an art school here. Well, for me personally, I started writing poetry when I was very young. I actually never realized that it was poetry until like a lot later. Um, but when I was a child, I used to write letters to God about my day. And that was sort of like the way that I started compiling all these different texts. And for me, poetry means spirituality. Actually, it means connection to the divine and my way of being able to communicate with God, uh, like for myself. And later, of course, it became like something more of a part of the community and being able to like share words with others. But that's for me, like personally, how it started. So, yeah. I think that the cultural scene in Rotterdam is very particular. Uh, we have a lot of different communities that are active here. We have the ballroom community, we have Muslim communities, queer communities, black communities, and every community is different and caters to a different thing. I do feel, however, when it comes to poetry, that it's always something that we can find that overlaps with all of us. And I think the cultural scene needs to change a lot, actually. Like, thinking about how institutions show different works from different artists and who are allowed to show their work in those places could definitely be opened up a lot more. And we see it happening, for example, with uh, Theatre Rotterdam, like how that has changed and how that really showcases people that look like me or like the people that I uh, am a part of. So change is coming and I think it's good, but it's a lot of hard work and um, I think the cultural sector actually doesn't realize the beauty that they have on the streets as much as they do until they see a benefit in it, uh, which is such a shame. So I really hope that also these communities and these people that are creative find their own ways to get to the table or make their own table in a sense. Um, so yeah, that's like what I think until now and we'll see what happens as everything evolves. So. Uh, I think the project that stayed with me the most from last year was uh, a play for The Living in a Time of Extinction, which is actually a theater play uh, where I was a part of a, a choir, like 10 people that were singing. And it was a very challenging play because we had to do a lot of bodily activities. And it was the first time that I was actually singing instead of like reading poetry in a sense. Um, and I think that that was the most challenging one because it was with so many different people. And the story is so intense also, like talking about extinction and talking about what is happening to our planet and how true colonialism that actually has such an effect on our bodies now and how choices from back then still affect our bodies. Yeah, that, that play really stays with me forever. It was really amazing. And it was also amazing to be able to work with uh, people of color and black people. But besides that work, I think actually being a part of Unwanted Words, which is like my home base, where I uh, started doing my poetry for the first time, very scared. Um, yeah, that has like a really special place in my heart. So whenever I see them somewhere or I'm performing with them, it's sort of like a reminder of, ah, you know, like I was this youngster that was like afraid that my poetry was not cool enough or that it was not spoken word enough, but actually having to be able to just go there and do an open mic, it changed everything for me. And from there, I was that person that was able to stand on a stage and be in a theater play and sing, actually. So I'm forever grateful to them and that space and how they helped shape my performance in a sense. So. I think that my life lesson changes over the course of time. I think uh, God moves me in ways and I think at the moment now, I would say that my life lesson is to find softness within myself. So within my body, within my mind, but also softness towards others and move from that place and find stillness. Um, yeah, so I think that that is um, where I'm at at the moment. 
Um, funny enough, actually, um, Poetry International and I got to know each other better as a festival because of my students. So actually, I teach an elective at my art school that is talking about what it means to become a writer. And actually, my students perform every time uh, when there's Poetry International and they finish uh, their course. So that's how I actually like came to know it through different eyes because normally I would come and I would want to listen to specific poets that would be part of the lineup. But actually now I'm focusing so much more on what it's like for them to like find their way to be able to stand on a stage, speak their words and figure out if reading poetry is not for them and if they would want someone else to read their work or if you know like writing in general is not something that they like. And yeah, I would say that Poetry International represents that for me now like that small niche of like youngsters that are like looking for a way to express themselves and being able to guide them through that is so beautiful and being able to see like the talent that is also there and without them realizing it and being able to just watch them flourish is uh, what i think is beautiful about this festival and it does it for people that are very known but it also does it for kids like them you know and that is super valuable I mean, of course, I'm a little biased, but I would say unwanted words. <laughs> I think that they uh, have a great lineup of different artists that will really uh, amaze you. And I think that that is amazing. And I have an open mic, so that's also very nice. Uh, who knows, maybe I'll hop on stage myself as well to support them. But I think besides that, I would really tell people to just go, especially if you've never been to a poetry festival before really just go and explore because there's so many different styles and so many different people that you get to meet and it's in a way for me similar to going to a music festival for example with different artists so i would say allow yourself to like dive in and enjoy the beauty of of words i think this festival in general is a great entry point for you to like dive into these different worlds and be able to experience um, like emotion from others and feel that.